agree. So we can go ahead and start with our general public comment on the Zoom, if that's sure, okay with you? Sure, absolutely. Thank okay, you. great. We'll take our first caller and each speaker uh, under general public comment will have two minutes. So we'll go in order of um, the folks who logged on. So I'll start with caller Audit LA. When you go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes for your general public comment. Yes, good morning. Um, just as a side note, I noticed that President or Vice President Aviegas is missing a lot of meetings, and that does concern me as a stakeholder. Um, that being said, this weekend at the, at the, um, on L. Ron Hubbard Way at a public event, okay, that was unpermitted, by the way, because the permit for that event was for El Salvadorian event, but this was a Hidalgo event. So no permit that we could find, and there was such a lack of care. They had electric boxes. They had like a kitty jumping house thing plugged into a, a connector box. Then that was plugged into the wall with a sprinkler, a jumping through sprinkler right next to it, which was getting everything soaked with children running through the sprinkler, doing cartwheels by the electric box. And it was terrifying for me as a person to see that. As a mother, it was horrific. And I, I took it to the, um, the guard who basically told me, you know, to mind my own business, that it doesn't concern me. Sent, they sent another person out to tell me that, oh, I have rubber tires, so I'm fine. You know, it, it was so ridiculous. I've had enough of this. I want you to intervene. I want you to get your um, streets department to get this under control, okay? Um, you know, besides my, for months now, I cannot get on or off a public transportation um, access paratransit vehicle on Fountain, two whole blocks worth. And that's open. That is not permanent for shut. And I cannot. And there's no excuse or no reason. Whatever the reason is, it's not valid, okay? You cannot deprive an entire community of two blocks of being able to get on and off of a public street. It's just ridiculous. I am, I, I'm at the point where I am demanding you to do your job. I want you to get Keith Mosey Thank in you, line Father, and minutes. tell him to take care. All right. Our next public caller on the line is a uh, caller on the Zoom, Mona M. If you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes once you start your public comment. Good morning, commissioners. Sorry about that. Um, I just... Can you skip me and come back? Sure, sure we'll skip you. Next, uh, next public commenter, Henry Marini. Uh, you'll let me reset the timer. You'll have two minutes once you go ahead and unmute yourself. Yes. Hi. Good morning. Are you able to hear me well? Yes, we can. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your time. My name is Henry, and I come to you from the great state of New York. And I too am here yet again as a concerned citizen and fellow engineer with comments on the blatant violations on major construction occurring by Scientology without permits, as well as the use of unlicensed general contractors. Let's be specific here, okay? There has been major construction ongoing on LRH Way, and we have various court cases with sworn testimony specifically attesting that Scientology is using literal slave labor by paying their staffers $50 a week to do major construction. Not only that, prevailing wages are also not being paid to these same staffers that belong to a parishioner unit called the Sea Org. And wages are also not being posted for these folks, uh, despite the other contractors that are being used to do construction being paid prevailing wages. This is a clear violation of so many California labor laws. That's number one. Number two, Scientology continues to go unpunished for doing major construction without a permit and with unlicensed contractors. All right, I want to bring your attention to a Mr. Alexander Quang. You might not know or remember Mr. Alexander Quang, but you know who does? The California Contractors Licensing Board remembers. And right now, Mr. Quang is under investigation for doing just that, operating major construction in a residential unit by, uh, at the Church of Scientology's behalf without an active license and without a permit. All right? I want you to think very hard and well about this. Are you ready to sacrifice your careers and livelihoods for Scientology? 
I'm coming after your general contracting licenses and your professional engineering licenses for blatant and clear ethical violations and blatant and clear disregard of the law. When are you guys going Thank to you, uphold caller. That's two your, Thank your you. duty as engineers? And um, all right, we'll go back to our other public comment. Mona M., if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes. Thank you for accommodating myself. Thank you, um, commissioners, for taking this speak. Um, since June 1st, I've been basically whining about the violations of the street closure on L. Ron Hubbard Way. You guys are probably really getting sick of listening about L. Ron Hubbard Way. The violation of the fire lane and also the planners that violate the Department of Justice ADA. There has not been a resolution, and I put you on notice last week about flyers, and they have been made and distributed in a campaign which is ongoing. I did mail T.J. Knight copies of those flyers. I see that he is out on leave for a couple of days, so you may want to check his email, so that way you have a reference. The permitting portal is still only working for the basics. I see that um, we, we don't have any information on any applications that are in the process right now. So if that could be fixed, that would be a wonderful thing. I'm really curious as why there is such a backlash at enforcing the law. The city attorney needs to take a look at this. The law needs to be enforced. Thank you, and I yield back my time. Thank you. Thank you. We have a public comment on item one. So yes. before we read the item, this is just a voting item, no uh, presentation necessary, but let's take our public comment. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Corsan, for the reminder. Uh, we have one public comment on this item, so Audit LA, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and you'll have two minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, hi, thank you. Um, I see that this project is for a pedestrian area in Boyle Heights. Um, I am on topic, but it goes to a general concern over how um, you how you know the Board of um, Public Works does their streets and pedestrian ways. Uh, they're not always like anytime you touch a street, you know you have to make it ADA compliant, and that has not been happening. Um, it's been uh, testified to, in you know th that it does happen, but there's been proof that it doesn't. And we are in a desperate need for ADA accessibility and sensible ADA accessibility. A lot of the new, and I'm hoping that this project does not have where they have that stone. It, the stones are beautiful, the rocks that they do, but they seem to, but it, it gets in the way of the ramp and the call button to be able to cross. And so um, it, you, I wish you could see how difficult it is when that is the case. And they also are making it um, so narrow that you can't even just go over and hit the call buttons. Like the modern way of how you're doing your curb cutouts is really difficult for people who actually need the curb cutouts. And I wish you guys were more open to feedback on that stuff because as I keep seeing new ones come, it, it's just the same old um, it's not the same old, it's the same new issue, and it's continuous. And I am begging you, um, like I beg you for so many things regarding ADA compatibility and compliance, that you please make sure that as you're doing this project and every project, that it is absolutely designed for people in a chair. I cannot get my chair over these big bumpy rocks to hit the call button and um, and I shouldn't have to be stretched my body out Thank so you, far That's to hit it. Thank you, Colin. That's two minutes. And do we have any uh, public comment on this? We side? do have one public commenter, so we'll turn to the Zoom to uh, provide public comment on item number two. Caller Audit LA, you'll have two minutes once the item starts, once your public comment starts. Hi. <clears throat> yes, I am very happy to see that we are doing ADA compliance projects. Um, you know, I, I hope this is a trend since, you know, you are required now to, you know, get on board with making the city ADA compliant because it's absolutely a, an atrocious affront to the ADA community as is. My concern remains the same here. As you are doing these designs, 
please actually take the ADA community um, in mind and think of how, or, or even, you know, ask them, and like get people who are actually in chairs and, and, and get input. Like I see you guys do, you know, ask for input for different projects. Why not? Why don't you do this for the ADA compliance stuff? I have a lot of input. I have videos where I could show you where I can't go over these, you know, these stones and stuff to hit the call boxes to cross streets. So, um, and then you're making me, I have to get, like, extend myself, which is dangerous for me. I, you know, like someone in a chair can fall out of a chair. It should not be that difficult. It, yes, it's pretty, and we want pretty. I hope this Japanese garden is gorgeous. I'm sure it will be. But can you please make it so functional that it's, like, there's no difficulties for the ADA community to access every, since it is an ADA access compliance. And, you know, sometimes the rules of, like, okay, what's allowed, what's not allowed, to be ADA compliant isn't always practical. There's been cases where they didn't have to put in, a, 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 like sometimes like at a door, like those push button doors because of weight limits or whatever, And but it's still difficult. So can you just really please be mindful? I would be happy to give you information or like videos on what you guys are currently doing and, and to show you why it makes it still difficult. Um, my partner was, he fell off his bike trying to get the curb cut out because he didn't realize it was tilted the wrong way. Okay. Um, so Thank you, and, and he That's off. before we have Ruben come up to present, we do have a public comment on this item. So we'll take our public comment first prior to presentation. So caller audit LA, you'll have two minutes, uh, once your public comment starts. Thank you. Um, I would prefer to go after cause maybe they would answer a lot of my questions. Basically, Okay, we already just established that the streets and sidewalks and curb cutouts are an absolute nightmare in the city. But what makes it even more treacherous and terrifying for a person in a chair is the lighting issues. I know a lot of it is copper theft, but we our city is dark. <laughs> At least where I like, I can't tell you how many absolutely dark streets I have to go to, and I have to then get um, pay, you know, you know, like get accessories like different lighting to try to light up the sidewalk when I'm traveling at night during certain parts because there's the, all the, the street lamps are out for like blocks and blocks on end and we need lights like any everyone needs lights but when you're in a chair you know you can you don't know where there's like you can't see good I mean oh my god I, I wish you guys would get it like I wish you guys would take the ADA aspect seriously I, you don't because of, like, for six weeks I've been begging you to make Fountain ADA compliant. So, uh, like, it, it's just, like, it makes, so I'm hoping that this person on, on lighting, you know, will the street lighting will take it seriously. We do need our city lit up. We need to be able to see where the broken sidewalks are, where the pitfalls are. Um, it, there's so many things that hinder somebody in a chair or skateboarder or scooter or even a pedestrian. You know, um, anyway, I, I, you know, I know of an old, you know, a senior citizen lady who um, tripped on one of these sidewalks and broke her skull. I mean, imagine if you're at night and there's no lighting for blocks on end. So please get it together. Please, whatever you have to do to get this lighting going, stay within budget, but get it done, please. I yield back the rest of my time. For your presentation, we have a public comment. So on the advice of city attorney from our last meeting, we're going to take that public comment first. So caller audit LA, you'll have two minutes. Um, and just to let you know, this is the final two minutes before the 10 minutes of the board rules for, per meeting. So if you could go ahead and unmute yourself, you'll have two minutes once your public comment starts. Thank you. So I may not use the whole time so I can reserve it for other issues. Um, Okay, about the sewer area, okay, again, for the ADA. When it is a storm, okay, the, the sewers are so slowed, so backed up, it becomes a river in the streets. I know we all realize that. But sadly, and it goes, it could go on for hours or long, long after the storm is over. And sadly, that's a hindrance for somebody in a chair. Because, you know, and when you're in a motorized chair, your battery's on the bottom. And so we can't save, you know, we can't wade through you know, like a, a river going down the street. And it shouldn't be that way. I mean, you understand that things get backed up a little bit while a storm is going, but afterwards, there's a lot of sitting water. There's just a lot of, it, it doesn't go down quick enough. 
And so I'm asking you to please, you know, again, be mindful, you're, you know, be mindful of that as well. Um, you know, they want to raise everybody's rates, but <laughs> are we going to get anything for, you know, in return for that? Uh, we'll be, we'll see. I'll reserve the rest of my time for another thing. Thank you, caller. You'll have just under a minute for the next comment. And before we have Metro uh, come up and do their presentation, we have one public commenter, so we'll uh, allow the public commenter to make their public comment before the presentation. Uh, caller, Audit LA, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. I believe you have 54 seconds left on the clock once you start. Thank you. Um, I want to talk about the Metro, uh, the elevators. Uh, person, as an ADA and a chair, I am required to take elevators. I can't take your escalators or stairs, and these things go down often. I recently got stuck in one of your elevators. Um, they had to come, you know, and, and then um, I've been prevented from leaving the station because of your elevators. For months on end, I could not get to or from a certain stop because for months the elevator was down. Your elevators, it's atrocious. I mean, not only are they nasty, and I know that they're going to start opening up the door so they're not filled with urine and stuff. I had to trek my tires. I, I can't just step around it, so I'm always, you know, trudging through disgusting stuff in elevators, but they are not functioning, and so if you're talking about quick maintenance, can you please be quick to maintain? I mean, I've had to, I, I'm getting to know your elevator uh, staff, you know, the fixing staff, like, it seems like That's on a first thing basis, because I'm always riding the train. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 